Good morning, folks. We've got space weather, another major weather alert for the United States, amazing news on lightning, space weather health connections, cosmology, and a crash on the moon. Let's go to spaceweathernews.com and find the last day on our star in 193 angstroms of ionized iron, looking somewhat less active than in the red 304 angstrom view we saw to start. Coronal holes are taking a break. We do have that one bright active region still cresting towards center heliographic longitude, and this morning she's finally developing the magnetic complexity to flare. Amidst the broad surface magnetic region, a tiny group of umbral cores was born near the 8 o'clock position of the leading larger group. There is delta class potential there now, and that would be the maker of any flares the sunspot begins to fire today. Let's go to the solar wind. All steady, with a slight drop in plasma speed since yesterday, eliminating the instability from the magnetosphere. In terms of our planetary magnetic shield, we're back in the green. As most of you know, the Earth misplaced its calendar and threw a ridiculous winter storm at the United States this week. Snow records, which have been falling all winter, are continuing to fall into the spring. We've got more on the way tonight, but of a different kind. Tonight in central Texas, the thunderstorms, hail, potential tornadoes are really going to fire up when that low develops, and then it's going to shift eastward and to the north. This is going to be the primary weather concern this weekend. An amazing article out on lightning and the first ever discovery of a fast negative breakdown, the opposite flow expected to cause lightning. This puts lightning, volcanoes, and tornadoes into the mix of phenomena that we've discovered in the last 12 months works differently than scientists expected. Let's go to the moon. And Israel came so close, so very far away. The first attempt for a private moon landing technically occurred. It just happened a bit harder than they were aiming for. This is the last image sent back before the craft crashed into the lunar surface and was destroyed. The first two of 10 studies on space weather and human health are out. The first is a bit more encouraging for temporary astronauts. The gut microbiome does begin to change the moment the space environment is reached, but the good news is that it recovers upon re-entering Earth environment. Some of the genetic changes are another story. Months and months after the return to the ground, some of the DNA changes remain. This is not only important for space travel, but for Earth as a whole under a weakened magnetospheric state with higher space energy intrusion. Two articles in the cosmos here. The first takes us to the center of the Milky Way, exactly to the center of the Milky Way. Using the proper motion of S2 as it whipped around Sagittarius A last year has allowed for the most precise measurement ever to the center of our galaxy. They put us just over 8,000 parsecs, right about 26,000 light years. Last but not least, a poignant indication that everything plasma cosmologists have dreamed about may come true. The next generation Very Large Array has the capability to break out our understanding of complex plasmas from the solar corona to the interstellar medium and out further to the intergalactic medium. The only way it won't is if they don't turn it on. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.30 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.